When it comes to poultry, these birds are big business. Chicken is the most popular main dish meal in the world. Poultry production in the U.S. has more than doubled in the past 40 years, generating more than $20 billion annually. The Cobb Vantress Company is one of the world's oldest poultry breeding operations. Their farms here in Fayetteville, Arkansas, have been breeding birds since 1961. Well, first the eggs come into the egg holding room and they come in in farm racks. That's where we transfer them to incubator racks and they sit in the incubators for approximately 18 days. After these eggs hatch, the chicks are separated by sex. The males for breeding and the females for broilers. Chickens that end up in the meat department of your supermarket. We want a bird that has good feather cover, uh, high yielding birds, uh, birds that are growing fast, birds that walk very well, that walk very easily, uh, animals that have high degree of fertility and hatchability. So we need birds to be good breeders and also good broilers. Changing consumer tastes, foods with less fat, and increasing choices in ready to eat meals have generated a big jump in chicken consumption. The focus here is selecting and developing traits that answer the demands of poultry producers and consumers. This could be efficiency, health of the bird. And we try to improve by finding the very best families and the very best individuals each year. Feed accounts for a large portion of the cost in raising chickens. Advances in feeding methods and new grain options are some of the considerations. In 1980, uh, it would take about 2.4 pounds of feed for every pound of chicken that we want to grow. But if you look at the efficiency of a bird today, we're looking at birds that consume only about 1.8 pounds of feed per pound. In addition to consumer concerns about cost and quality, poultry producers here and elsewhere also deal with food safety issues in the health of their birds. Biosecurity is important because uh, we have guaranteed our customers that we're going to provide them with 100% uh, clean bird, uh, and biosecurity is the key to reaching that ultimate goal. Uh, no one is allowed to enter the hatchery without a shower. We can't enter any kind of clothes from the outside. We have a complete wardrobe on the inside, shoes, shirt, pants, everything. Encounters with production animals require control methods to keep bacteria and pathogens from coming in contact with the birds. And it's obviously serious business since not only do we have these suits, but we've got booties covering our shoes, we've got hairnets on right down to the gloves. We also have foot pans at each door and hand sanitizers. So if you go outside the hatchery and you come back in, you have to disinfect your shoes and disinfect your hands. It's a known fact that it is, that it is in uh, byproducts, it is in corn, it comes out of fields, salmonella can come from so many different places. So we know that it's coming in. We test for it and we find it. The testers let their feet do much of the work. Their booties pick up bits and pieces of waste and debris from the hatchery. Gathered material is then analyzed. I think through modern technology, probably one of the biggest changes is that we can measure the presence of pathogens probably better than we could many, many years ago. Uh, the laboratories, both the state laboratories uh, in the poultry states and also the in-house laboratories of Cobb are better equipped to, dis to detect pathogens earlier, faster, and therefore we can remediate the situation and keep our flocks healthy. Changes in breeding, along with scientific developments, have dramatically increased the amount of poultry produced for sale in the United States and overseas. As producers here like to say, making a better bird. We try to hatch the best and do the best and be the best. We try to put the customer number one and try to be the best.